Hey all, here are OS Reviews. Today we're taking a closer look at the Tiny Scope Cam. This is a digital portable microscope that enlarges objects up to 1000 times magnification, and it can attach directly to your smartphone, either using a wire, or it also comes with a Wi-Fi box that you can use to wirelessly share the image onto your phone or tablet's display. So it's ultra portable, you can use it to kind of explore the world around you, kind of a fun novelty item, or of course you can use it for science classes, for labs, things like that. The camera itself has a 13 megapixel resolution and it works with both iOS and Android as well as for computers. A lot of phones these days, by the way, are beginning to adopt a macro lens, which technically gets pretty close up to objects, but with a microscope like this, with up to 1000 times magnification, it still is going to give you more detail than what a built-in sensor on most phones currently have. Here's a quick demo of some footage that they've provided on their site. So this is what blood actually looks like. Here's a time lapse of salt particles getting melted. So here's the packaging, pretty simple, microscope in your pocket. And we also get, of course, a user manual that's actually documented pretty well. It says, hi, read me before you explore the world and goes through detail and color of how to set it up. And we've got our contents underneath, including a carrying pouch for the microscope. We also get two adapters, which you can use to plug into your smartphone if it supports OTG. You wanna use it in the wire mode and it's both for micro USB and for USB type C. Now for iOS devices that have a lightning port you have to use the Wi-Fi wireless connection mode. There's also a microfiber cleaning cloth for the lens and then over here we have a pipette that you can use to drop liquid samples onto these included plates and what it looks like here is there's actually a small hole that you can use to drop the liquid sample in and then this is the side that it kind of comes out from after you're cleaning it. So we've got these glass observation slides for liquid and for different sizes of the object that you're looking at. We also get a few samples which have been just here for demo purposes including a sample Example of a pigeon feather inside of there you can kind of uh, use directly to have a bit of fun with dandelion fluff there's also a celery leaf and finally there is a dragonfly wing sample in here we've also got the wi-fi box in a separate little compartment because this is actually an accessory that you can pick up for about $20 more and this allows you to have the wireless capability. It's also where the battery is actually built on in. So the camera itself doesn't have a built-in battery. When you're connected using the USB cable, it's just drawing power from your phone, so it doesn't need one. But this Wi-Fi pack, not only does it turn on Wi-Fi after you connect the camera to this box, but it also provides power to drive the camera for a few hours at least. It is pretty simple to set up. I'm glad to see everything is using a modern Type-C port. Uh, but basically, if you want to use it in the Wi-Fi mode, you, you plug in the Type-C on the camera, and then the other side just goes into the USB socket of the Wi-Fi box, tap on once to turn it on, and then you're ready to go. The camera is turned on, and you can connect to it using the app. What I will say, though, is perhaps in the future, they can consider building in the Wi-Fi card as well as the battery in the camera itself that wouldn't require a separate little module that you have to carry around, and that adds a little bit of wiring in between. Now, as we take a closer look at the Tiny Scope, it's constructed out of this poly carbonate plastic but feels actually pretty solid. On the side here is actually a magnetic latch that you can pull out and this provides some extra modes depending on the subject that you're looking at. So especially when you're looking at a liquid for instance, maybe you want the object to have a dark background to emphasize the liquid's color. You can actually put this against uh, the side here and because the background here is black, it will prevent any reflections from going onto your subject. Your slide will just be underneath there, so you can cover it up. Uh, alternatively, if you want a bright uh, background when you're exploring the sample, you can use this white background to shine against the object and kind of flip it over like that. Companion app from TinyScope will automatically launch whenever you plug in the camera, so it is pretty convenient. And afterwards, we're able to take images just by tapping on the shutter key there, also record a video or time-lapse footage onto the phone's built-in memory. We're able to adjust certain properties such as the white balance exposure level. And by the way, this microscope does have autofocus. So whenever you tap on an object, for instance, it will try to make it sharpen uh, depending on how far or close away you are. We can take a look at how much the magnification is currently working. We can even zoom in and out a bit more uh, using digital magnification, 1000 times maximum. So you can have kind of a grid line that tells you how large the object actually is. As well as take a look at camera settings such as the resolution that you're recording the video, for example, at goes all the way up to 4K, in fact, which is 
pretty good. They have a few different models that they've released. So when you first plug it in, you can also go into this homepage to play back some tutorials of how to link it up and also take a look at a community, in fact, where people have uploaded different samples of objects and sharing it onto this platform, uh, which is actually kind of fun and interactive, like jeans, a uh, different mouse pad, and really just a bit more interactive than I was expecting. They're really trying to make this microscopic exploration theme more fun. And so there's, in fact, actually some users which are really sharing their images, which is interesting to observe. And I'll do a quick demo here. This is just a carbon fiber texture on the back of the phone or case. You can see this is kind of what it looks like magnified. And again, you can see the autofocus lens working and that sometimes it takes a moment for the image to be sharpened and in focus, but overall it's working surprisingly well. And here's the magnification of this little pouch. The fabric actually looks like this, which is pretty crazy looking. Let's try some of their included free samples that they've already provided in the slide. So we can kind of align it here over the lens. This is the dragonfly wing, and you can see it's what it's like. The background color might be a little bit harder to see, and that's why, again, they have this little feature where you can use this to snap over the slide to prevent it from moving around if you're on the go, and also to add that darkened light so you can make out the subject through the LED flash uh, a little bit more clearly and cleanly. Here's a box which is made out of this fabric material. If we kind of put it underneath it, we can even see the textures of the paper and fabric, which is quite crazy. You can even try plastics and magnifying it up. You can see the texture of how it was printed uh, in the different layers. And that's, again, just really astonishing to see. Here's a closer look at some other sample objects I collected through the past few days of using the camera. It really is quite astonishing what you can kind of explore and find. Just everyday objects really blown up and the fabrics and textures of the world around you look absolutely foreign. Some of them even make for a good maybe wallpaper of sorts if you want to have fun and add a creative touch. The one thing I will say though is it's definitely more of a novelty or niche item I'm definitely not going to be completely mainstream, and the price is a little bit high, selling for just north of a hundred bucks. Uh, but overall, if you already have lots of other gadgets, you don't really know maybe what to get to someone as a gift, this could be something interesting, definitely is unusual. This could be a very fun little uh, gadget to try out. So that's more or less it as far as our quick hands-on look at the tiny scope microscopic digital camera for smartphones connecting using Type-C or using the Wi-Fi box, and both methods do work quite well. It is pretty versatile and surprisingly easy to use in terms of the autofocus lens getting most subjects in focus super quickly. The app is intuitive, even has an interesting community feature, and it was more fun than I was expecting. For what it is, it is a very interesting pocketable microscope, and if you like the sound of that, you can check out more details in the links below. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews, that's been the Tiny Scope.